I want to show you something which you can do only at least with that elegance uh, using the ProSets plugin for Maya. ProSets was programmed by Mainframe North in England and uh, it costs 40 pounds and I paid for it. Um, and um, it's worth checking, really. Now let's create a sphere, a polygon sphere, and uh, increase the resolution from 220 by 20 to 20 by, uh, by uh, to 200 by 200. So we, we have quite a high resolution here. Now let's uh, select the vertex, any of them, and create an extrusion. It pokes out like this. We'll um, just let it poke in by typing in minus 0 0.2, for example. Now it points to the inside. The width, we can change the width, make it a little bit wider, like this, or slimmer, like this. Right mouse click, object mode, Alt key, hold the Alt key pressed, go to the P. It asks us what you want to do. We want to use the poly extrude vertex. That's what we just did. And uh, here we are. This is the attribute editor of the pro set we just created. We could create more on top of them, but uh, let's go for them. We need to select the vertex here. That's the first important thing. And um, if we incre increase the percentage now, um, we, we get this effect here. Lots of lots of holes here, and we can animate this, uh, etc. But we don't want to do this. So let's just reduce this to zero again. So we have this dull um, sphere. Instead, we go down to shader. If it's not open, do open it. Not much to see here. Add or remove will add a shader. Click here, and I um, recommend in this case to add a file and the file needs to be located and I'll choose uh, a blank map world no borders here which I fi found somewhere um, public domain on the internet. Once you did this you have the earth here. If you had started out with a resolution of 300 by 300 you would see even more details. So that's basically all I wanted to show you. Mapping with ProSets. Oh, I know. You want to render it. Let's create a shader. New material, Arnold, standard surface, preset, blood, replace. It's getting red. We need a light, lights, sky dome light. Let's map the light with a file, any file I have here in my folder. I think uh, there's an interior file here, HDR, like this, which I don't want to see in the rendering. That's why I'm going here, visibility, not in the camera, not in the rendering. Now I render the scene. And the interesting effect is that when you have such a glossy surface, you can't see the real content. You can't really make out what, <laughs> what is supposed to be depicted here. That's why we'll change the uh, shader again. Go to the standard surface shader here. Here it is. Go back to the presets and Instead of blood, let's choose clay. And now let's render it again. And if you want the things to poke out instead of in, like here in the ocean, you can go back in the history 
and the history is poly vertex extrude which we set to minus 0 0.2 let's set it to plus 0 0.2 and then we get this thing here which uh, is quite different and very funky as well let's go to view test resolution and 150% so we have a higher resolution now go to one by one so that's Africa Well, that's the power of ProSets. We have thousands of pokey things here. Finally, let's create a plane and rotate the plane. I press and hold the key J, so I wrote it in rotated in uh, certain steps and I scale it up like this I rotate it again in this direction and give it the same shader as the back uh, as the uh, sphere now when I get closer I go to view camera settings resolution gate that's the resolution I'm gonna render so that's fine and now I render it again so I didn't count but I think it was five clicks in order to achieve this and you always can go back into the history of the construction and change the height of the pokes etc and this is all done without displacement maps it's real geometry